ready? Yes. Timekeepers, are you ready? Yes. You have four minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Ayaka. We agree with the resolution Japan should abolish capital punishment. There are two advantages if we accept the resolution. First, people will no longer be executed as a result of false charges. Second, we can give all criminals the opportunity to be rehabilitated. I'll explain our plans. First, we'll abolish capital punishment in January 2013. Second, criminals who have currently been sentenced to capital punishment will become life imprisonment prisoners. Third, we will stop any scheduled executions of current death row inmates at once. I will explain the first advantage that people will no longer be executed as a result of false charges. Present situation. According to a textbook, Saishin Zusatsu Gensha, in Japan, there have been at least four cases in which people were falsely charged and they were found to be innocent after being sentenced to capital punishment. The weight of these wrongful charges is very heavy when capital punishment is involved. Take example of the Fujimoto case. According to Yazawa Shoji, Mr. Fujimoto was executed in 1962, but since his death, many criminal lawyers have studied the facts of this case and believe him to have been innocent. It is certain that there have been people who have been executed even though they were innocent. Also, according to Mainichi newspaper company, the waiting period between sentencing and execution is getting shorter and shorter every year and has recently hit an average period of six years. It is difficult to prove that a person is innocent of a charge in just a six-year period. Process. If we abolish capital punishment, we remove the possibility that an innocent person will be executed. Also, an accused person can demand a trial if they are alive. According to a textbook, Kendai Shakai, in Japan, we can conduct retrials for people who have been sentenced to capital punishment. But this rarely happens because it takes time for new information to come to light and a retrial to be allowed. Importance. For people to no longer be executed because of false charges means that we can protect the lives of innocent people. People's lives are very important and protecting life is something we simply must do. I will now explain the second advantage that we can give all criminals the opportunity to be rehabilitated. Current situation. According to the crime fight paper, Japanese law must be geared towards promoting the rehabilitation of prisoners. But if we continue to use capital punishment as a penalty, criminals on death row will not be given any chance of rehabilitation, which means that we will go against our penal code. Process. If we abolish capital punishment, we can give all criminals the chance of rehabilitation. Some criminals commit crimes against their will because of economic trouble and so on. In prison, criminals are assigned work. Through this work, the criminals can learn professional skills and regain the will to work. This makes criminals return to society easy. Importance. Our present use of capital punishment means that criminals are killed because they killed other people. This is like the concept of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, as seen in, in the Code of Hammurabi from 1700 BC. That way of thinking is too old-fashioned. Also, according to Kamei Shizuka, we cannot decrease crimes by only using capital punishment. The government has to make criminals realize what they did. We should forgive their sin and strive to rehabilitate them. This is a more modern and positive way for Japan to function as a developed country. For these reasons, we agree with the resolution. I will repeat my point. Our first advantage is that people will no longer be executed as a result of false charges. Our second advantage is that we can give all criminals the opportunity to be rehabilitated. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Speaker. You have three minutes. Please begin now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kyoko Nomura. Let me ask some questions. So first from your advantage one. You showed in the present situation that there were four cases of forced charge. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, and you also showed the evidence of the Fujimoto case. Yeah. Why does, why does lawyers believe that he is innocent? Uh, so please wait. Uh, because there are many mistaken of the, the police Police will police force the confessions or the uh, evidence. 
Okay, so this room. Because because there's a mistake in police? Yeah. Uh, do you have any evidence to prove that? Uh, Mr. Yozawa said so. Um, this is, uh, and many other lawyers said so. Uh, who, how, many, like, how many people and who said so? Uh, how many? Uh, for example, for, uh, sorry, uh, let, let's move on to the next question. Um, so, in, in your process, you said uh, there's the retrial is a re really rare case, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, because there is no retrial, then that's why post charge happened? Uh, post charge will happen, but we, they can be proven to be innocent. Okay. By, by retrial? So, you are saying that there's a retrial system. What? But it's real. But it's real, okay, so... Uh, okay, so because there is no retrial, and that's the cause of the force charge. No. No. Uh, oh. uh, okay, sorry, let's move on to advantage two. Oh, sorry. And advantage two. How many... My question is that how many people are rehabilitating in the present situation, in life imprisonment? Life imprisonment? Yes. How many people are now rehabilitating? Uh, do you have any actual data that shows in life imprisonment prisoners should be rehabilitated or something like that? Uh, uh, the, no, but uh, the repeat offense rate is only 0.8%. 0 0.8. 0 .8. That mean, you mean after parole? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, let's, I'm going to ask a question on the advantage to the impact. So, you, is your target criminals, murderers? The, okay, by your advantage too, murderers will get the chance of, of rehabilitation. Yeah, right? So, okay, so do you agree with me that murderers first violated the human rights of other people? Do you agree with me that on that point? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, speakers. Next. You have four minutes. Please begin now. Thank you, Chairperson and judges. My name is Keishi Nakada. I will start, I will start off on negative constructive speech. With negative side, strong oppose the proposal that Japan should abolish capital punishment. We have two disadvantages. Disadvantage one, the family's feeling will be hurt. Present situation one. At the moment, many citizens are supporting the system of capital punishment. Here is the proof. Cabinet Office 2009. Quote. According to the survey taken by Cabinet Office, 86 of the person, sorry, 86 percent of the citizens supporting the system of capital punishment. Unquote. Two. Also, many family members suffer from mental disease. Kunisego 2008. Quote. According to the survey towards the self-help group consisting of criminal victims, more than 40 percent of them suffer from mental disease. Also, the rate of PTSD is higher than general population, unquote. Three, many victims' families don't forgive the murderers even if time passes. Ministry of Justice, quote. According to the survey towards the 111 victims' families, 91% of them say that they cannot forgive the murderer even today, unquote. Four, now, many victims' families want the murder to be executed, even if they know the number of sentencing the capital punishment is not so many. Ministry of Justice, 1996, quote. According to the survey towards the victims' families, 73.3% of them want the murder to be executed. On the other hand, 12.3% of them support life imprisonment. Also, 81% of them want to, sorry, don't want them to get back to the society again, unquote. Effect. After production, maximum penalty will be life imprisonment. This means that brutal criminal will have a, have a chance of parole. Importance. The criminal who caused all terrorist attack would be given have a ch the chance of parole, even if they killed 29 people and injured more than 6,000 innocent people. Also, as a brutal criminal and terrorist will be given the chance of parole after plan adoption. This situation is unbearable for the future victims' families. Disadvantage two: detained power against violent crime will be weakened. Present situation one. At the moment, many students believe that capital punishment has deterrent power. Cabinet Office 2009, quote, According to the survey taken by Cabinet Office, 62% of the students think that violent crime will increase when capital punishment is abolished, unquote. 
too. Also, it is proved that Kevin, sorry, capital punishment has deterrent power. Let us present concrete statistic. U.S. Front Line, 2007, quote. The result of the investigation taken by University of Houston reported that since the abolishment of capital punishment, the number of murder in Illinois increased by 150 in four years, unquote. Three, we would like to explain the relation between capital punishment and crime rate. Look at this chart. This chart is based on the survey taken by FBI in 2008. This chart clearly indicates that crime rate of states with capital punishment has been high before. So states' government cannot abolish the capital punishment. On the other hand, crime rate of these states had, has been low for a long time. So it, it was easier for the go state government to abolish capital punishment. This means that capital punishment and crime rate has a long connect, strong connection effect. After plan adoption, the number of violent crime will increase dramatically. Also, many students will be the victim of murders. Importance. By the act of abolishment, Many innocent people will be involved in brutal crime, and it will be difficult. For, sorry, it will be difficult for the government to protect these innocent people. It means a nation endangers our lives. From this evidence, we can clearly conclude that the impact of this demerit is serious. I repeat our disadvantage. Disadvantage one: the family's feeling will be hurt. Disadvantage two: the power against violent crime will be weakened. Thank you for listening. Affirmative, are you ready? Yes. Negative? Yes. You have three minutes. Please begin now. Thank you, Jefferson. My name is Nancy. About your first disadvantage. Yes. Do you have any proof that people of countries which do not have capital punishment suffer heavier burdens than those from countries which do? So, more, more, simply, simply, please. Uh, do you have any evidence that shows the, the, people of countries which don't have capital punishment it suffer heavier than the countries which have capital punishment. Also, I, I want to say that after plan option, maximum penalty is, will be life imprisonment. So this means that will the crime will have a chance of parole. Do you have any evidence? For what? what? So? Uh, for example? No, no. Well, so after, so capital punishment. Yeah. Uh, do you have any evidence that more so, uh, victims' family will be more suffering? Also, now, now many victim families don't forget the murderers even if time proceeds. So, and many victim families want the murder to be executed now. Okay, thank you. Uh, is capital punishment existing for only the feelings of victims' family now? So, sorry, one more, one more please. Is capital punishment, uh, do capital punishment exist for only the victim's family's feelings? No, I, I, I said um, deterrent power, the, the disadvantage too. Disadvantage one. Uh, so, so you mean so all capital punishment exists for only family's feelings, so do you, do you, do you, so I want to say that capital, punish, capital punishment and has deterrent power. I'm sorry, okay. Uh, you said 40, uh, uh, your second disadvantage. Yes. Uh, you said 40% victims' family suffer because of family's death. Well, what, what do you mean? Uh, but can this data show that if there will be no chapter punishment, suffer will increase? So I said, so I, I repeat our evidence. So, according to the survey, was a self-help group consisting of criminal victims, more than 40% of them suffer from mental disease. Also, the, the rate of PTSD uh, so, is... So, can I move on to the next question? Okay. Uh, the graph you showed is about present situation of America. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This shirt? This shirt? Yeah. Yes. Is it America's data? Yes. Uh, survey, psycho, uh, uh, survey take by uh, FBI. Uh, uh, the present situation of America. Present uh, in, in 2008, 
take a, take a bite if you like. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, speakers. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Koji Naji. Let me start negative attack speech. First, I will attack our dear everyone. Uh, first, it's not true. False charge never happened from now on uh, for these reasons. One, the court can ask the prosecutors to show the evidence and lawyers can identify the evidence again. Second, uh, the, there is a DVD recording system in, in Japan. Uh, 2008 court. DVD visualizing system has been used in some cases until now. Uh, optional compensations are proved clearly in some cases. On the contrary, and those are denied in other cases. So, the system of DVD visualizing is really objective. Unquote. So, uh, compensations by enforcement never happen from now on. See, DNA test is now more, more accurate. According to 2008, 2010 quote, the DNA test called Parflex 16, which is used today, can identify one person out of 16 billion samples. Unquote. Uh, so, there will be no false charge from now on. Second, uh, long free execution happens only when capital punishment and false charge happen at the same time. So, the possibility of long free execution from now on is almost 0%. I'll attack, I'll attack about your 82. Uh, first, uh, it is not clear what merit we can get after rehabilitated. So, uh, second, uh, it's not, no, no proof was given. Uh, they don't have they, they don't have data that criminals in life imprisonment actually actually rehabilitated. Also, not true. Uh, criminals don't repent their crime. Mitachi Yamato, 2010 quote. When I say the truth, only one percent of the criminals repent their crime. Unquote. And this evidence is reliable because this author is in jail uh, in life imprisonment and see other criminals in the nearest position. Please check this point. And third. Uh, Sad. Uh, the, reha uh, the rehabilitation is uh, the relation is not clear between second second offense uh, and the, uh, the rate of the rate of second offense and the actually actually uh, the criminal rehabilitation. That's all. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Speaker. You have two minutes. Please begin now. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Andrew. Did you have uh, how many attack points did you have? I have uh, five attack points. Five attack points? Mm. And in the in the first uh, first attack of of the AD one, uh, I have three three reasons for. Uh, one is. Every uh, we uh, uh, first first reason, please tell me. First reason, uh, the court can ask the prosecutors to show the to show the evidence, and lawyers can identify the evidence again. When this system started? When? Uh, when? Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know. But uh, this is a uh, this is uh, this system adapted near uh, near. Okay. Um. Okay. The second reason is video record. Is it right? Yeah. And third third reason is what? Uh, DNA test is not more accurate. Uh, this. Is this all? Uh, any other attack? Yeah, there uh, are any other attack? This is, uh, this is the reason uh, why uh, false charge never happened from now on. So, uh, oh, okay, okay. Mm, you said uh, rehabilitation, about rehabilitation. Mm, uh, you said relation is unclear. Why can you say so? Uh, uh, about that point. Ah, yes. Uh, because uh, you said uh, the the rate of second offense is low, so uh, the crime, crime uh, the criminals rehabilitated. But uh, the uh, the criminals who, who are paroled parol uh, uh, are rehabilitated. Thank you, speakers. Please begin now. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Katsa. How about the first disadvantage? The 
about the mental burden of victim family. First, according to the National Association of Crime Victims and Surviving Families, the most important wish of every brief is that the victims are brought back to life. Unfortunately, that is impossible. They have also found that it doesn't matter to the victim's, victim's family what kind of sentence the criminal receives. Second, there are many countries which have abolished capital punishment, but as they mentioned, there is no data which shows that people who live in such countries suffer from, suffer from a heavier mental burden. So we conclude that the use of capital punishment makes the victim's burden lighter. So their first disadvantage will not happen. About that, their second disadvantage the, about the um, deterrent. And first, we researched the homicide rate of countries which have abolished capital punishment and found that the homicide rate of 78% had either decreased since abolishment or not changed from UNODC. In, Bulga in Bulgaria, since abolishing capital punishment, the homicide rate has been decreasing dramatically. We also have examples from Switzerland uh, and more countries showing similar patterns. How do they explain this contradictory data? They do not explain the circumstances in these countries. Unless they explain this, they cannot say that capital punishment has darned. So, so their first disadvantage, a second disadvantage will not happen. Uh, how about their second, oh, hi. Uh, uh, about the victim family? And, a knife, a knife, a third part too is it's not good principle. I'm oh, sorry, Dennis. Are you ready? Yes. Affirmative? Uh, yes. You have two minutes. Please begin now. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairperson. My name is Kazuki Obe. Yes, yeah, question. Okay, first, as for DA2, about deterrent power. Hi. You said 78% did not change, right? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, where is the source? Uh, do you know the sea? What must be please? United Nations Officer and Drugs and Crime. Uh, so, uh, how many, uh, that is country. That is country. Do you know the sea? Uh, it's, uh, oh, 78% uh, what does 70% mean? Uh, the so homicide rate of countries which whose crime rate has, has, has decreased or not changed after abolition capital punishment. Uh, where? where? UNOD, from UNODC. Uh, I, researched the, I researched 23, con 23 country. countries. So the so. Eight, 18, was, 18 countries' homicide rate was was not de uh, was decreased and or not so, changed. So, so uh, it is country, right? Yes, country uh, is there. So the, uh, that country is uh, abolished as a nation, right? Yes. Uh, okay. And also, uh, so it means some of them, uh, some of the country uh, increase uh, crime rate, right? Uh, right. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, and also, do you agree with me that in Illinois, uh, in Illinois also, uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Thank you. Sir. So the one, uh, you said that uh, families do, uh, do not inf uh, inf inform what kind of sentence to, so what kind of sentence? Yes. So it, uh, what, uh, what do you want to say from your, that? I want to say that it's not mother. Uh, I believe victim families most important which is to come back to life the victim. So oh, how many how many family, how, how many families do you say? How many uh, sorry I don't know about <laughs> the National Association of Crime Victims and Surviving Families, all members say so. Okay, thank you. Thank you speakers. Are you ready? Yeah. You have two minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Chair Prasad. My name is Andrew. They said when the trial the, evi the evidence should be shown. However, one of the co 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 causes of first charge is concoction of evidence. So there is no me meaning that showing evidence is the, the evidence was concocted. And they, they talked about interrogation. 
recording about recording interrogation, but according to the Lawyers Association of Kumamoto Prefecture, sound and video recording of interrogation has been implemented in Japan, but not all interrogations are not are recorded. Also, the investigator has the power to decide which cases need to be recorded at their discretion. So it is still possible for false evidence to make its way into an investigation. This is very dangerous. And they said, so they talked about DNA analysis, but DNA analysis isn't always possible because there sometimes isn't DNA evidence. And DNA analysis is performed by humans. And even with machine ass assistance, a human, it's not perfect and mistakes will occur. And they talked about uh, no profit, but there is profit to rehabilitation. Um, according to the Ministry of Health, Health and Welfare, in 2010, the rate of the rate of the rate of the number of employee for number the number of job offer was 45 percent, a 40.8 percent. It means that there are many jobs which ask employee. So. So pre criminals can be rehabilitated, then come back to society so they can get work, then they contribute uh, economy, Japanese economy. And the repeat offense rate of criminals, uh, and there is relationship between uh, rehabilitation and second offense rate. Thank you. Thank you, speaker. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Mr. Chair, President and Judges. My name is Kazuki Oube, and the Administrator of the Franca Newark giving speech. First, as for our DA1, DA2, digital power, they said that 78% of the uh, countries did not change the uh, grammar. However, uh, they admit some of the country increased moderate. So this is the risk. I, I will show an example. Uh, in Illinois, uh, as a constitutional speaker, said capital, abolishment and capital punishment, the number of in, in, in Illinois increased by 150. And also, uh, in Canada, According to Rosafrid, after abortion with capital punishment in Canada, the number of murders is increased 250 to 700. And also in Britain, after, uh, in, uh, after the abortion with capital punishment, the number of murders increased 322 in three years. So, uh, so Canada and Illinois and Britain has actually has deterrent power. So, uh, and also we show, we, sh we also show United States case. Uh, what would you like to say of FBI data? Uh, the uh, connection of digital power and capital punishment, because high crime rate states cannot abolish capital punishment. So, and also, state statistics of the United States is more persuasive. One reason is that the United States federal government still adopts capital punishment. So, situation is close to that of Japan. So, also some of the states capital uh, abolish capital punishment, and on the, on the other hand, other states will still, still adopt capital punishment. So, it is easier to first to compare those differences. So, let's move on to the DA one. They said that families, uh, victims' families want the murders to come back to society. However, uh, there's no proof how many, country, how many victims' families think so. And as our constitutive speaker said, 73.3% of victims' families want the murders to be executed. Please prove this point. So, I will, I will ask, what happened after the plan adoption? Uh, maximum penalty will be life imprisonment. This means that brutal criminals will have a chance of parole. This means brutal criminals will be forgiven by government. So, for example, the criminals who caused own terrorist attack would be given the chance of parole, even if they killed 29 people and injured more than 6,000 innocent people. Uh, so also, uh, other brutal criminals and terrorists will be given the chance of parole after plan adoption. So this, is, this situation is unbearable for the victim's family. So the situation will never be better. Uh, after the that situation will never be better. Speaker. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. You have three minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Chair President. My name is Tansu. We agree with the resolution Japan should abolish capital punishment. We have three plans. First, we will abolish capital punishment from January 2013. Second, criminals who have currently been sentenced to capital punishment will become life imprisonment prisoners. Third, we will stop any scheduled executions of current death row inmates at once. Uh, our first advantage is that people will no longer be executed as a result of court charges. They attacked it, but we defended by saying that one of the causes of forced charges, forced charges is con concoction of evidence. So there is no meaning that showing evidence if the evidence was con concocted. And um, DNA analysis isn't always possible because 
there sometimes isn't DNA evidence. And um, not all interrogations are recorded. It is still possible for false evidence to make it play into an investigation. So our first adva this advantage still stands. Our second advantage is that we can give all criminals the opportunity to be rehabilitated. They attacked it, but we defended it by saying that there will be concern for, fit for certain profits for, for, for us because they can contribute to Japanese economy by working. So our second advantage is your stance. Their first disadvantage is that um, the family's feeling will be failed. But we attacked it by saying that many victims' families said that it doesn't matter what sentence the criminal received because victims doesn't com come back to life. And they cannot prove that um, victims' family of abolished country more suffer than not abolished country. So their, their first disadvantage will not happen. Their second disadvantage is that the determined power will disappear. But we attacked it by saying that there are many con contri contradictory data. Unless they explain this, they cannot say capital punishment has deterrent. And they are responsible for explaining this because they are negative side. So their second disadvantage will not happen. <coughs> now, please compare our advantages with their disadvantages. What do you think is more important? Innocent people's lives or Japan's peace and order? Both are important because they are related to pe people's lives. However, executions of innocent people are murders committed by a nation. Nations should exert the greatest possible effort to decrease the murder, number of murders. But before doing so, the nation has to stop itself from committing murders. For these reasons, we strongly believe that Japan should abolish capital punishment. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Speaker. You have three minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kyoko Nomura. Let me start my summary speech. So first, I'm going to make the summary of both affirmative side and negative side. And then I'll compare both of them. So first from advantage one. They talked about wrongful execution. But we show that false charge will never happen from now on because of the system of the court, DVD's visual system, and a creation of DNA. So, and, and as we showed, wrongful execution happened only when capital punishment and forced charge happen at the same time. So the, the we can say that the possibility is almost 0%. So let's move on to advantage two. In advantage two, they talked about rehabilitation of the murderer. So this is no, uh, they didn't prove that criminals in life, in, prison, they, like, in life imprisonment are actually rehabilitated. Their argument is just, uh, and uh, sorry, sorry. And, and they, there's no, uh, I'm sorry, and we show that one person is only dependent. So, it, so we can say that their argument is not true, and their argument is too ideal. And uh, so, let's move on to disadvantages. In disadvantage one, we talked about family feelings. Even now, 73.3% of the families want the murderers to be executed, and this is the Japanese situation. And so, after plan adoption, there will be chance of parole no matter how many people they kill. So this situation is unbearable for victims' families. And what we can say is that situation just get worse, never better. So let's move on to disadvantage two. We talked about deterrent power. They showed 78% didn't change the murder rate. But in other, on the other hand, 22% had increased murder rate. And we also showed the data in Canada, Illinois, and in Britain that there was different power. So it means there's a risk, higher, uh, there's a risk. So let me compare advantage one and disadvantage one. They said it is important to save innocent life. So my question would be, how many innocent people will die because of the, uh, will be killed because of the prior adoption? In advantage one, uh, as we said, forced charge, is, uh, sorry, wrongful execution is almost 0% from now on. And, but in disadvantage two, as they proved 22% of the country had increased the homicide, and plus United States data and other countries, there's a high possibility than advantage one. So once it occurs, 
it, it means that more and more people will die because of the plant adoption. So we can say that disadvantage two has more impact. So I'll compare advantage two and disadvantage one. In advantage one, the key point is that they are murderers. It means they are not innocent. And it also means that they first violate other people's human rights. So that's why people in disadvantage one is suffering from now, are suffering in, suffering in the present situation. So why do we have to pursue the unclear benefit comes from the non-innocent and with who hurt the victim's families? More and more people die, more and more families get hurt. So please vote for this side. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for a very good debate, and I want to thank the audience members for coming instead of going home and having a nap. And thank, it's very encouraging to the debaters to have so many audience members. In American debate, they usually no audience members except girlfriends and boyfriends. <laughs> so this has the future of high school debate in Japan is very much supported by your kind attendance. Thank you very much. And there were three judges, and the ballots looked pretty much identical. Uh, we all had the same uh, best speaker, best debater prize. So let me talk a little bit about the affirmative uh, and the negative. So the affirmative has two advantages. One is uh, the absence of false charges, and the other is giving all criminals a uh, better rehabilitation than before. And negative argues that false charges are much less likely. And affirmative says they're not impossible, but much less likely is pretty unlikely. So uh, the, the affirmative first uh, advantage is getting weak because of these three issues about improvements in the court situation. As to the second uh, advantage of affirmative, giving all uh, criminals the rehabilitation, they, it got into a number uh, issue at the, the end. So they have good data that 18 out of 23 United Nations countries, but they don't answer Britain and Canada and Illinois. Uh, and they don't answer that chart. That chart is a little bit confusing, but because a chart is a chart, I think you have to attack it directly. If you duck around it, then it hangs around uh, for the, the final decision. As for the, the negative disadvantages, the family's feelings will be hurt. And the negative ha has a, uh, <coughs> the affirmative has a National Association of Crime Victims who don't care about uh, whether, what kind of punishment they would like to have their loved person back. Uh, and that, that to some extent kills the link between the, the change of policy and the disadvantage. But the, affirmative, the negative continues to insist that my friends in Ohm will be paroled and will uh, kill other people. And I think the affirmative has to uh, push against that 70 some percent. Uh, and the, there's a lot of data, unanswered data, that a lot of Japanese are, don't belong to the National Association of Crime Victims. So that this, this uh, especially the way the summary speaker handled this, I thought was very good. And the second disadvantage about deterrent power, there's also a lot of uh, contradictory evidence. But at the end, as the negative summary speaker said, there's still some kind of risk of if you adopt the plan, there'll be some kind of risk of some criminals being uh, allowed to escape. And there's not much, the biggest problem is there's not much proof that criminals get rehabilitated very easily. So the, the, the rehabilitation the, is, uh, the rehabilitation is kind of weak in second affirmative uh, advantage and the deterrent power it somehow with all these numbers there, there's still a danger a risk that what will happen in Japan is that the murder uh, rate will go up if 
Nobody can prove the tough link between the number of murders and capital punishment or not capital punishment. But there's some kind of probability and the, the second disadvantage is somehow standing. And so all the three judges voted for the disadvantages and voted for the negative. So congratulations and thank you. Good luck. Way, great suffering awaits you in the semi-final <laughs> round. Their suffering is over, but your suffering has just begun. So please suffer happily. One more time or two more times. <laughs> so thank you very much to all our judges, to our audience, and to our debaters. I ask now that both teams please stand and all debaters shake hands. <laughs>